I said different faces that we have. Yes, please. So we are live on Insta and on Facebook and on our Zoom. How does it get any better than this? And what else is possible? So today the topic is identity. What is identity? So are you uh, only on Zoom, no? Yeah, I'm on my Zoom. How can you make it closer? You can't put or... it. You can't put it on the laptop because then it will. <laughs> it's okay. All the DJCCs and all the best juniors that I am functioning from at the moment. <laughs> How is it I, uh, to be on Insta and on? I'm not. I haven't yet. Uh, got over it. I'm still excited about it. And how does it get any? Whatever I was always excited about it. I never yes. had to get over it, over anything for that matter. Let's destroy and uncreate it. All right, wrong, good, bad, awkward, online, shorts, boys, poets, and beyonds. So, what is identity? <clears throat> so, something very interesting came up. Abhi aapne bola na ke it's I'm looking different on Zoom, different on Facebook, different on uh, Insta. So what if, like, you know, there is no such thing. Aap kaat rahe ho, Angela. Aapke room mein internet, internet effective nahi hai zyada. Drawing room would be a better place to be in. Different, different things. Angela? Angela, your room, you are in the drawing room. So how come uh, there the internet is quite good, but somehow you are um, cutting yeah. up? It's going to be just two of us today. Is it better? Can you hear me now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's a land. So what if there is no identity as uh, like, you know, different different situations bring out different uh, different roles that we play, different uh, persona that we are. So isn't that identity? Do you, um, what identity do you have with me or what identity you or image or persona do you have it? You have it with different people, right? Yeah. So identity. Do you have to like... have it? Okay. So is it fixed or is it like it keeps changing with you tell me how how is yours? So uh, what I get is there are two things. One is something which is fixed and one which keeps changing like we keep switching so, the roles. Hi, Rupal. So who fixes it and who changes it? Awesome. How, so, does, one, how does one work that out? <clears throat> interesting question. And where did, Never thought of it. Where did you buy it from that you have to change and you have to have and you have to be different with different people and how do you choose it? And is that is that comfortable for you? Or you always have to be a tender hope. Now what do I be here? What was I being here last time? Uh so it, as a mother, I'm something which is different as a wife or maybe as a as a as a facilitator, I'm different. So uh that's what I said. Like that is what I'm getting. Like there's some part of me which is like same throughout, which I don't change. However, when I'm like with different people, it is not like, you know, I, I become a mother, I become a facilitator, I become a friend. So they perceive me like that only. Like a friend would not perceive my mother, might, she may, or she may not perceive my motherly energies. So, you know, that. Okay. Cool. So if you were being you in every situation, wouldn't you know how to be? 
do you have to have a particular identity and keep up to it when you are with somebody? No. So that, that fixed being is always there. And, you know, it's like something like, you know, like um, some additional condiments that we add up to, to spice that particular. And, and my another question comes up is, ki, so do you decide how you have to be? Hi, Bhavna, Shimona, welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. So lovely to have you guys here after a long time, Bhavna. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. So we were talking about identity. Today the topic is identity. So do how to put it? Have you sometimes found yourself searching for yourself? And you never yeah. find yourself? Why? Because you've already decided who you are. And then who you actually be is far off. This who you have, you have decided you are, you have created it in order to validate this reality. You put on this persona, this identity to survive sometime in a situation or amongst people. You are a mother and then you become another mother when your mother-in-law is there. Have you noticed? Yeah. Yeah, something, something, yes, it does change. So is how many times have you pretended to be somebody you are not in order to be comfortable with people in situations? And just think of, get aware of, all the places and spaces you have chosen to be somebody else rather than show up as your true self. Have you ever acted weird, guys? Totally not you? Yeah. Because you wanted to fit in? And even maybe felt a fraud? I see myself in, with some people, I I mean, it's slight and I get aware of it. But it, with some people in my life, I become totally not me. And I find, oh my God, I, I pretend to be comfortable, but I'm not actually. What if we knew? What would change if we knew that um, we are awesome, we are great, we are whatever we, we want to call it, the way we are? What would change? What would then be our lives? What would our lives be then? Is pretending to be not um use to your advantage is is it to your advantage hi hira hiral hello hello manisha good morning hi, hi good morning so the, today the topic is identity so come when you said identity Something very interesting came up. It's like I dent. dent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I dent in different situations to be different, to look different, yeah. to appear different. Exactly. Pretend to be somebody else. Yeah. So dent myself to, yeah. to fit into that situation. Ultimate separation from myself. Yeah. 
Good morning, Kaval. Hi, good morning, Mansi. Lovely to have you here. So we're talking about identity. Identity. Okay. Mm. And when you separate or when you choose to be somebody else or you pretend to be uh, a different you choose to be a different identity with different people and different situations. You don't have to judge yourself, right? <laughs> Where's the judgment there? No judgment. Is it of also kind is of full of judgments? Yes. I said, is it a kind of manipulation when, like, we be different with different people? At times, it's, it's, it's like right. manipulation. Thank also. you for saying that. But if it is, then you're aware of it. And that's being you. Yeah. Choosing to be you in every situation is to choosing to be showing up as the other person wants you to show up. Not from I'm not enough. How, how can I be enough in this situation with these people? We live by this program of which is going on, which is a virus on the planet. What is it? Anybody here? Autopilot? Not good enough. We run that on all autopilot. And then we have to be good enough. Why you say, can you say more on this? On more on more on uh, that you are not enough and then you pretend to be enough according to what the other person wants you to be enough. What is enough? When what is identity for you, Hira? Hiral? So, Kaval, I do have a question. I'm just talking. Uh, can I come back to you, darling? Yeah, so yes. I... Yeah, yes. can I yes go for it darling yeah so I just want to know like um, why do we perceive others energies and like you know we be like them like some I feel like you tell me why you tell me why you do that uh, I feel like um, at times I'm not being myself and like the other person what that person would like to listen the same I'm speaking like no, that's amazing. That is amazing. But do you fold, staple, turn, destroy yourself, separate yourself? Yeah, I mean, yes, yes. Later on, I feel like uh, uh, that was not me and uh, how did I just uh, behave that way? I mean, so now ask yourself, what made me to choose that? You recognize, that's beautiful, acknowledging that I, hi, Welcome. You acknowledge uh, that you are uh, you're doing that. So so many people don't even uh, recognize that they are doing that. You recognize, you're acknowledging it that you do that. And now ask yourself, okay, when I choose this, who am I being? What am I desiring from this person that I have to change? That I have to tell them I'm not enough? Then I create myself as not enough. That I cut off myself and I be a puppet in for somebody else. Asking yourself would give you clarity. Keep asking and pocking and podding. Keep asking and pocking and podding. And you will recognize here I want to do this because I want to please them. Here I say because I, I feel I'm not enough of a good mother or good uh, daughter-in-law. Then I have to prove myself. So I'm proving myself. Yeah, and most, so most, I'll, I'll keep peace. So I will do what the other person wants me to be. Truth. Can you create peace? Or you keep cutting your parts and pieces off to keep becoming less and less and less and then you burst out one fine morning pressure phat jata hai
yeah then i feel like uh, in some of the situations where it is not required we speak that time <laughs> yeah and then if hi nita lovely to have you here so my my trick worked huh <laughs> welcome 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 we're talking about identity today so yes hiral is so beautiful really that we would turn twist staple mold fold us to please people and then we lose ourselves and then we say oh god where am i you don't even recognize yourself then god doesn't allow me to do this god put me here is it punishment did i do something in the last lifetime past lifetimes that i am getting this it's your own creation that need for being um um to belong need for being appreciated need for being validated is always the feeling of not enough you are enough and amazing and great and phenomenal and magical the way you are and all the other adjectives that i haven't even mentioned god doesn't create kachra are you willing to lose everything and be everything and have everything isn't it ironical i'm saying lose and then have when you're willing to lose everything you can have everything and when you're grabbing and holding on to things and people and places they run away from you you can't have them how many times somebody feels needy about you and clings to you and wants you to be uh, with them and do things with them and how many times you tell them go away welcome guys hi neera lovely to have you and mana so grateful for you all to be here and identity is the topic today and we create ourselves as artificial us as a result we create an identity to be us that we have decided would work instead of we choosing to be ourselves that artificial us will choose for what reason and over over time we start to see us as that and forget who we truly be how often has it happened to you you keep telling yourself a lie and make that lie true how many how many of you like to hang out with uh, a same group of people or a cluster and have an identity like we are doing i mean i'm i'm such a in a grateful situation just finished uh, foundation and then we have jimli in chandigarh she is doing uh, talk to the entities today is the last day and uh, it's it's amazing it's how did i get so lucky to have all this coming to me at my hometown here so we were talking about group and cluster right how many of you cling to that group and cluster just because you want to have identity oh my you know i know this person like yesterday we were talking about i am uh, i know this i have this uh, royal line and you know my father was this and my grandfather was this what are you who are you we refer to us as do you know 
to get a, get a sense of self. If you just knew how amazing you are, where would you be? We create these identities. Is that really us? Or is that a pretense of us? And then we buy that identity as us. What do you get honestly? Does it work always to have put yourself into that identity that you think is you? It's so much of work for me. I feel like, oh my God, with this person I have to be this way, for this person I have to be this way. Now I have to change myself. When am I going to be me? Then I have to protect that identity. Spend my time and my energy in showing up around everybody who I have decided I am. But actually I am not. So always at guard, nobody should find out the real me. And a lot of energy to prove the lies I have created around me. And all, and all this for what? Just that one, one point of time somebody will say that I am great. To validate other people's realities. Isn't that insane? I recognize we're coming to access that it was insane. I had to be me no matter what. <laughs> you know, Gary, the founder of Access Consciousness, Gary M. Douglas, he said he went to uh, Europe for six months and I... So many times I've thought I can go somewhere and just be me. Where can I go? There nobody knows me and nobody will say this is who she is. Father is this, his mother is this, his grandparents. I just want to be me. How many times have you thought of being you? And you were so trapped into this reality that you... Didn't know you could have that choice too. So he went to Europe and he said he had so much of fun. He could be anything that he wanted to be. And since then, I've been wanting to do that. <laughs> Haven't had the guts. He wasn't any of the identity that used to make him feel like he belonged. He was free to create himself as a different person wherever he went. How much fun can he have in that? What fun to try out different personas, different identities and play with it. I've always thought of it, to travel alone and choose whatever works for me. But I haven't had the courage. No questions today? It's just me blabbering? Any questions, guys? Hello. Yes, Shimona. Hanji Kamal. I have a question, but I want to share something. Yes, tell me. As you have said, I never relate to anyone from any other Especially my people at home. I feel like I am not like this. These people are like this. किसी इवन मेरे बच्चे से भी मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि मेरे जैसा तो नहीं है ये ऐसा कुछ अलग है और मुझे शुरू में जैसा ऐसा लगता है कि मैं यहाँ फंस गई हूँ मैं कैसे हूँ यहाँ पर अरे ये मेरे लोग दिस आर नॉट माय कम्युनिटी शुरू से मुझे लगता है तो मुझे कभी दैट इज कंपलीटली डिफरेंट टॉपिक बिकॉज इट्स नॉट अबाउट the identity you be. So, uh, can I ask you a question? Yes. How are you being with all of them? Are you being yourself in every now moment? 
choosing what works for you or are you choosing what they would want you to do choose no i choose what works for me only well, awesome how does it get any better than this and then would if you are like that you want them to be exactly like you for what reason how about <laughs> my god they are different they are different beings they are different uh, they are being themselves this is what we do in this reality we want everybody to be like us our children to be like us our husband to understand us and know what we celebrate the difference oh my god i never thought that could be also possible how amazing is that that they are being that and i i'm okay with it how wonderful it be to discover who everybody really desires to be in actuality and appreciate that because you want to be appreciated for who you are or you don't <laughs> if you want to be appreciated for who you are different then how okay. amazing it is to have a different um variety i mean like you can't have papita every day or tarboos there is a variety of fruits variety of vegetables variety of clothes sometimes i go to the market and say who wears this but they are selling that means there are people who are buying that variety spice of life mm -hmm. why would we want everybody to be like us सेम सेम भेडे हैं भेडे हैं सब बकरिया है तो सब बकरिया एनी सेंस कमल बट यस बट वॉट इज द बट बट नहीं ना कमल नहीं होता है जस्ट एडजस्ट क्यों करना एंजॉय करो ना डिफरेंस वाई वुड यू वॉन्ट टू एडजस्ट एंड वॉट इज एडजस्टमेंट सपोजिंग यू हैड अपोजिंगली यू हैव यू हैव इफ यू डोंट हैव अ बिग प्लेस यू हैव गमलाज यू हैव डिफरेंट प्लांट्स इफ यू हैड ओनली वन प्लांट हाउ वुड यू लाइक इट if every room you went to and had the same furniture same bed same dresser same table bahut badhiya adjust hoga har jagah jao same hi lagega is that what you want no so why would you want people to be exactly the same they look different they think different they had past lives different past lives they have a different reality appreciate that and you too i mean i would like to be a chameleon i wow i could i could use that capacity to be whoever i want to be wherever i want to be have fun with it is wouldn't that be a gift hmm yes participate yes. participate in a world with people in a different way the way that is fun for me no compulsion no identity no persona i'll have that right away in fact <laughs> don't want to waste any time that's left with me <laughs> <laughs> i've tried i've tried all being uh, the timid and tried to be pleasing people and tried to uh, listen guys i'm not saying that it's not that you are looking after yourself you are against people this in this reality we think if i am looking after myself i'm against people no in fact it is not selfish it is selfless you are allowing people to be themselves you don't want everybody to be goats and sheep when you are being yourself 
you are inviting others to be themselves. It is an invitation for people to choose to, you, to be who they are. They don't have to be like you or like everybody else. See the energy shifts. Now people are showing up as they are and the families are expecting them and also getting freedom of, my children tell me we brought you up well. <laughs> because they kept changing. They kept choosing greater. They kept whatever greater that means to you whatever that is. And I kept following that and I kept saying, oh my God, that is also possible. I could do that. I can go out alone. I don't have to go with my full family. I can travel alone. And I can travel with them when I choose to. And people sometimes find me very different. The family finds me change dynamically. Yes, I have. We are all acoustical beings. We are all amazing, phenomenal beings. We are so great at twisting, tormenting and torturing ourselves into this, this re electrical vibrational reality. Why? This thing called fitting in Daughter-in-law leke aaye hain, wo fit in kar jaye family mein. Ek khunte se leke aaye hain, dousse khunte se baand de. If you have any other answer, I would love to hear. Says, Kamal, what rubbish are you talking about? It's not like that. And I'm willing to hear that. Your body is a sound board. When you're out in nature, you get that, you're in that acoustical vibrational vibration of nature. Don't you sense a different energy? That is the energy which is more in alignment with you. That is why you feel. Every time you feel great, you feel good, you feel light, you feel happy, that is who you are. And we turn and twist it. How am I feeling? is bad. I shouldn't be. I should be with them. I should feel the way they are feeling. They're feeling sad and I'm feeling happy. It's wrong. What if they were sad and you were happy and they became happy because of you? Instead of you becoming sad because of them. Wouldn't the world be a better place? Kaval, shall I add on something? Yes, there? please go for it. Yeah, so it's it's very uh I probably means I am judging myself here. But then again, yeah, very um it it was through awareness or through stupidity, I would say. But then again, when I I hope it must be happening with all of us, or if people are choosing to, just like that, death hoti hai or dead body padi hui hoti na, when I was very small. I remember that all of us were very serious and we were very serious and we were very serious and we were very And my mom was like, what are you doing? I was like, I was like, yeah, that... what did you know? I remember yeah. myself making myself wrong and laughing at one of the cremations. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> yes. So I I was like, Abhi bhi, but I, it, I say serious but everybody is expecting me, you know, to be like that. It's, but I can't just hold on to it. But so everywhere you funny. guys have made death wrong. Yeah. Yes, Nita, <laughs> we are also missing you. We are having so much of fun together here. Angela is here in Chandigarh. And uh, Jim Lee is here. And... Wow. Uh, and we have a, we are having a class. We are missing you, girl. We are having so much of fun. So, um, sorry, Mansi, for stopping you. You were saying but, that everywhere, everywhere we have made the deaths wrong. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere we made death, dying wrong. What if it yeah. was just choosing to be in a different reality with different body, with different <laughs> clothes, with different fun? <laughs> What if honoring honoring the person's choice was what was required? You always have a choice to choose. 
Yeah. No, we will always twist it because we think that is the way it has to be. You have to be sad when everybody is sad. You have to be happy when everybody is happy. Yeah. So, Kamal, I was saying, actually, when there is a lot of serious, especially when there is a lot of serious situation, when there is a lot of serious situation, I mean, I don't have to smile at all. ट क्या एग्जैक्टली वो खाएंगे तो मैं खाऊंगी यू नो फ्यू इयर्स बैक गैरी केम टू इंडिया एंड ही सेड गिव अप योर इमोटल सोल एंड वी वी डिंट इवन नो आई मीन आई डिंट नो व्हाट ही वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट बट इट वाज सो लाइट जस्ट या एवरीबॉडी इन द हॉल जस्ट गिव अप द इमोटल सोल ओह ओके फाइन वी आर सोल बट वी आर नॉट इमोटल immortal soul is the is the identity we have taken forward lifetime after lifetime this definition of us we cannot let go of oh my god i am this it's so entrained ki main ye gayi hu ab agle janam mein mujhe jana hai and then i have to sh- get all the shit that i did in the last janam there is no choice you don't you cannot have a choice but you can you can always choose different haven't you always chosen some chosen different in some form or the other do you realize that we gave up what wasn't working without knowing it cognitively but being very firm that this is not working for me i'm giving it up So Ajay, I have a question for you. Aren't you? Hi, Sunita. Lovely to have you here. Welcome. Hi, Kamal. Sunita is also Hi. from. Sunita is also from Chandigarh. Oh my God! How can I? There's a phone call coming, and how can I tell him that? Hold on. Or maybe wanting me to open the door. So anybody else has a question? I'll just switch on. the i just open the gate from there you people have any question i'm listening i'm right here please put in question if you have yes no question everybody was quiet good morning good morning गुड मॉर्निंग कवल मैं संडे का वेट करती हूँ जस्ट आप ये क्लास के लिए रियली थैंक यू सो मच एक एक और चीज में शेयर मीरा मीरा इज सेइंग दैट यू कैन नॉट अलाउड टू हैव फन नाउ व्हाट डू यू वांट टू टेल हर वी आर हैविंग फन एनीवे यू लाइक इट और नॉट Hi Paul welcome yes Shimona go for it Yes ek ek acting class thi to usme unhone ek cheez share ki thi ki jab aap koi kirdaar ada karte ho to it's depend upon you ki aap us kirdaar ko kaise karte ho aur wo ek portrait hota hai aap usse kitni tarah se kar sakte ho kitna uske sath justified kar sakte ho kitna usme kya kya changes kar sakte ho तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है हमारी लाइफ भी ऐसी ही है कि हम उसे कितना क्रिएट कर सकते हैं exactly. कितना so किसी और को पोर्ट्रेट कर सकते हैं कितना खुद को पोर्ट्रेट कर सकते हैं तो एवरीथिंग इज क्रिएशन या इट्स सो ब्यूटीफुल व्हाट यू सेइंग डार्लिंग यस इट इज बट फ्रॉम नोइंग नॉट फ्रॉम कंपल्शन नॉट फ्रॉम आई हैव टू बी लाइक दिस 
and uh, yeah, also this is what they want uh, this is what they want me to be so i have to be like this no this is what i want to be and i can be anything i'm a chameleon i can change myself to be anything any time i know i can manipulate i can be ha make everybody happy when uh, if i choose to be yes mansi you were saying something yeah so when she was talking she also talked about justification of it so why do you have to justify because justifying would always be taking you towards the lie of you you don't have to justify anything to anybody you just yeah. have to be you that's it exactly are you being i am 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 i being myself how can i be myself to the best of my ability if i choose to because i choose to and once i got these tools before that i didn't have the tools and i had to be exactly what people wanted me to be but when i got these tools i knew what can i say that the other person is willing to hear who can i be for the other person to be um, choose to listen to me i have energy pulls i've got tons and tons of tools and if we use if if all of us we all have tools if we use hi mona lovely to have you here monica welcome we're talking about identity today so if i if i really had use these tools we did the best job with the tools we had guys and now with these tools we can do things differently so i'm going to ask you guys the ones who are in access aren't things different since you received these tools access consciousness tools my life has changed and continuously to keeps changing true kavil i'll just share uh, one more example with you last night means I, as you know my in-laws are here right so every morning they were expecting me to give them a you know a cup of tea and i am being me i am not here to fulfill any expectations i get up i have a glass of water i make tea for myself yeah and i come into my room so today morning i got a huge lecture saying ki hamari zindagi bhi to sukhi nahi hai hamari to bahu aise karti but i was like yeah i was having too much fun with it I was like, yeah, they are choosing drama. Drama is just a choice. Let them be. And they say, yeah, my to sort next sort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put it down. Let it be. So it's it's very different. You know, you recognize where they are coming from. What are they choosing to be right now? And yet, without any judgment and confusion, you can just be you, and you can allow them to be them. There is an enormous change. Ideally, पहले क्या होता था? अच्छा एक छोटा सा एप्रिसिएशन चाहिए चलो जी फिटिंग होने की कोशिश करनी है चाहे अपने आप को रगड़ लो गलती तो चाय का कप तो तू भी पहले बना के दो नो मोर नो सो या मींस नॉट ट्राइंग टू फिट इन सो कमिंग फ्रॉम नो मोर इज आल्सो अम अ मतलब यू कैन बी या यू हैव टू बी यू हैव यू ऑलवेज हैव अ चॉइस बट इज इट कमिंग फ्रॉम दैट uh which what energy is it coming from <clears throat> it's coming from that i am not willing to please or adjust means this is what who i am this is what i love to be i am not nobody oh, somebody that. tells you if your wife came to your house and you said i told you mansi please make me a cup of tea would you say ah, you that's okay so do, that's so, okay so you yeah. are so what what i'm trying to understand here is i'm trying to get here is that if they ask for it you will make yes if they expect it that's when you are getting so are you getting triggered by it and not doing it because they have not asked so just get just be aware guys we have to be aware of where we are coming from access yeah. is not about uh, what, <laughs> you know fighting or a, a, giving up or making anybody wrong or making this reality wrong in all our manuals the first five lines are of this only that we are not supposed to we, i mean we are don't access does not make anything wrong 
or anybody wrong or this reality wrong or doesn't have to fight this reality. You choose your reality, what works for you, not against, not for, but the energy that you be. If you are not desperately after getting things right, who would you be? As long as you're going for right and wrong and avoiding wrong, you have no choice left. And how much of your identity was created based by things you do or don't own? When we create from an identity, we create from limited points of views. You're a daughter-in-law. Now the manual has been handed over to you, how you have to be. Limited points of views. Any identity is a limitation, guys. Do not ever forget you are an infinite. Hi, Fiza. How did I miss you? Do not ever forget you are an infinite being and can be and choose whatever works for you at any point of time. Your Whatever identity you give self is ultimate delusion. You have no substance, which is why you are always looking for you. If you were choosing you, you wouldn't have to look for you. You would be and hold and hold and be, enjoy and be what even that situation requires for the fun of it. Because you know, you are an infinite being. Identity is a perception of being. It, it is only a percep perception which is fleeting. And changing all the time. An individual individuation is where you define yourself. It has nothing to do with who you are. So it creates separation of you from you, from any and everything else. And how much judgment do you have to create and live with? If you're living from there, be kind, be tender. Treat yourself with kindness. It is possible. It is possible to have no separation from you or from anything else or anybody else. If you were good, being you, nobody ever told us. Who told us, Iske saath aise karna, ye tum, bod, tum jari ho, ab saas ko aise karna, sasur ko aise karna, gharbale ko, bachche ko, chachi ko, tai ko. You know, nobody ever said, I've mentioned many times, nobody told me, my mother didn't tell me, you have to look after yourself. So Neera is writing something here. Oh, identity is fleeting and changing all the time. Yes. Who would you like to be now? It's, it's possible to have no separation of you from anybody. However much you try, there isn't any separation of you from you. You, the beautiful being. You try to put separation. It's there. You are the one who puts layers and you are the one who goes away. It's come home. The you, yes, you, is the identity of consciousness. And that has an awareness of self. An awareness of awareness. Are you willing to have that? Yes, no judgment. No judgment. No. Yeah. Of me or for anybody else. They are all separate in your okay. Wow, how can we be together in a in an orchestra? One is playing harmonium, the other one's playing a guitar, the third is playing a flute, fourth is playing something else, but they are they are they are orchestrating a muse, a lovely music there. How can you have that music in your house with everybody being different rather than fitting in?
your being, you you are individual and yet you are part of this whole um, orchestra. What generative energy, space and consciousness can we all be that would allow us to be in communion? I, the, com, in communion and in oneness that we truly be. The being of you has an identity. You're an infinite being. It's not separate from oneness. Your identity encompasses everything you are, which is the infinite being, which is infinite, guys. Has no, no um, cut out, put in the box, All the belief system that we have, that we have to have individuality, that we have to have an identity. Would you be willing to let that go, please? What makes us create an identity? As though that is a definition of us as individual. Separating ourselves from us. Yeah. And from everybody else. True that. And we, we, you know, the difficulty is most of us believe that we, were, we gave up ourselves, we gave up our individuality, we would cease to exist. No, we would actually cease to be who we truly be. You would, if you would give our judgment, you would have no personality. But still, have that conscious identity that would be so expansive. And that, that energy would be so much of a seduction for people to hang out with you, be with you. You would be attracted for people to be like you, to choose like you. Because they can't put you in a, in a box. You are with an old person and you are like being different. No, without, I mean, it's not an identity. You're just choosing to be that at that moment because that's the requirement because you are an infinite being with infinite choices and infinite um, chameleon you are. And everywhere you are, they think, how many people you have in your life, you think, yehi hai, mera hi, mera hi hai. So I want to ask something here. Go for it. So do you mean like people who like likes us that that is also a judgment? So they like us. Like otherwise like people get like attracted towards us. There is a judgment behind liking also, you mean to say? Exactly, because that matches my my point of view about what I would like to be or have. This person's like me, so I would be I, I will be so if you if you didn't if you couldn't find or if you couldn't define a person, you would not be with him or her. Or you would like in I would in access now that I'm in access, I would like to ask a question. What would I really like to create with this person? What would I really like to choose with this person? How would I like to be? What would I like to, you know, what's the, what's the contribution that we can be to each other? With everybody. Okay, birds of a feather flock together and you cut off receiving from the whole world. But if you could be with everybody and be a contribution and receive a contribution, wouldn't that be amazing? Rather than being with just a group or a cluster or few people and just looking for an identity that you truly are not. You can be anything and everything and anywhere and everywhere. Ask yourself, what would I like to create and generate here? 
rather than I like this person and I like to be with that person. For well, what reason? Because we validate each other, because we have judgment about each other, because we, we click. Then the rest of the world you have cut off yourself from. How many of you believe that your judgment equals your personality? So if there is no judgment, the person would not like anybody. I mean, or uh, I mean, I have a question around this about now. Like, if people only choose from the judgments to be around somebody, exactly. ये मेरे जैसे लगता है. इससे मुझे क्या मिलेगा? I'll gel with him. So then nobody would uh, get attracted towards anybody. I mean, if nobody... Naturally, is when you're attracted to this group of people, this small little group of people who gel with you, who are same as you, then you have cut off your receiving from the whole other universe. What because if wherever I... you were, what if wherever you were, with whoever you were, there was that was a gift. Yeah, so I, I'm asking this from the space of myself where... I don't see myself uh, getting attracted to anybody actually so easily. Like not easily, but I don't get, get attracted at all. Like I don't follow groups and I don't be in groups. And I, I, you, nobody finds me anywhere second time maybe. I just go and finish something and come back and I never turn back. Like, so. What, I what, what is your, so but, I, have a question, uh, I have a question for you. What makes you not go back? I mean, I don't choose them again. Like, I feel like, okay. What makes you not choose them again? Somewhere I don't get attached to people. I mean, there is no attachment in my world. No, it's not about people. attachment. Attachment is different. But you will not choose to go to the same people for the same group for what reason? You don't like them. They don't no, tell no, with no, you. No, no, no. There is no, no, nothing about the liking and things like that. But um, somewhere I'm scared of the judgments of people towards me all the time like um, I can hear them what they are exactly thinking about me when they are looking at me and I can like maybe I have that so are you um, running away from uh, receiving because they judge you yes in access we say if somebody judges you you get your bank balance keeps increasing hi Ankita lovely to have you here and Dvinder wow awesome Balvinda. Wow, I met. So, I met somebody in the lake yesterday. So, it is because of that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes. So, sorry, Hiral. Uh, I was just thinking that, not thinking. I The awareness that I'm getting is that we cut off ourselves because we don't want to be judged. In access, we say, I, I mean, I said, okay, judge me now because I know every time somebody judges me, my bank balance increases. <laughs> we that is what I, I create, creating in my life. I don't have lack of anything in my life since I'm born. Like, I'm privileged that way. So, uh, but how do I attain this? Like, um... Do you judge yourself? No. Then how, what makes you think that they will be judging you? No, I feel like whenever I look at somebody, I just uh, read their mind, like what they are telling me maybe behind the how face. Awesome, how awesome is that? How can you use that to your advantage? What is, does, does this person want from me? Okay, I will give it to that person. Yeah, I give and I leave. <laughs> that is what I do all the time. Just ask yourself questions. Why? What makes you leave? There is an energy behind that. And that energy is running away from yourself. Oh God, it's 9 too. We didn't even realize that. Thank you. Thank you guys so very much. I'm so grateful to you guys. Thank you, Kaval. And what if life, uh, Hiril, what if life was not about resistance? You know, in this reality, we think that is the only way to have life, to resist. When you're resisting too much, you're resisting everything. You're resisting fun, you're resisting money, you're resisting possibilities.
Don't choose what is rewarding. Choose you. Choose you. Ask questions. Will this place contribute? Will these people contribute? How much fun can I have? Rather than focusing on what they are thinking about me. And that's a that's a capacity that you can read people's minds and how can I use that to my advantage? Kamal, can I say something? Ah, right, right when we are finishing. Thank no, you. no, no, no. Just, just in one second. Uh, how about if you will organize any energy pull session? Yeah, why not? I keep doing it from time to time. If everybody wants it, I can have an energy pull, one week energy pull uh, sessions. Why not? Yes, I am into it. I am ready. All right. We will have it soon. Thank yeah. you. No worries. <laughs> okay, guys. I have a full house full of people. I have to serve them breakfast. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for showing up. I'm so grateful. I have a long day. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful. And thank you so much for being here on Insta. Hi, Bubble Koli. Wow. I have such new amazing people today joining me here. And Kamal, you look so gorgeous and vibrant today. Wow. So awesome. I have a class. Talk to the entities. I have to lure, oh. lure the entities into my house. So I'm wearing a nice shirt today. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. And Instagram and Facebook. Bye-bye. Wow. And Zoom. How did I get lucky like, to be it everywhere? Interesting. Bye, guys. Love you. <laughs>